We're going to be talking about inshore fishing in Virginia Beach. It's uh, late May and we've been doing some inshore fishing here. Um, we're going to take you guys today on a recent sea bass fishing trip that we did out to the Triangles out off Virginia Beach and we're also going to be doing some spade fishing. Um, we went fishing for spade fish on some of the inshore structure off Virginia Beach. We had very good fishing in there. Make sure that you stay tuned to the U Fishing channel here over the next couple of days. We're going to be doing some videos that are giveaways. Our sponsors have given us some stuff to give away on YouTube and we're going to be returning that stuff to our subscribers. You can't win if you're not a subscriber, so make sure you subscribe to our U Fishing channel. We'll be giving away stuff. channel don't forget to click subscribe and subscribe to the U Fishing channel also if you subscribe go through and watch some of our other videos we have lots of inshore and offshore fishing videos for the mid-atlantic region for today's fishing report it's late may 2017 i'm going to start with southern north carolina the outer banks area um, out of moorhead city they've had exceptional fishing for blue marlin over the last couple, 10 days or so. Um, we're seeing a lot of blue marlin there. The dolphin fishing's been really good. There's a handful of wahoo. The inshore fishing down there is picking up with Spanish mackerel, bonita, bluefish, that sort of thing. The cobia are starting to make their way to the north and you should start seeing the cobia fishing starting to fade in North Carolina shortly. Get up to Hatteras and um, Oregon Inlet, we're seeing, we're still seeing very good blue marlin fishing. Um, there was actually a boat out of Moorhead the other day that was seven for 12 on blue marlin. The instigator a couple of days ago was three for four on blue marlin out of Oregon Inlet. Um, we're seeing fantastic catches of yellowfin tuna. There's a lot of big eye tuna out of Oregon Inlet right now, just north of the point. We're also seeing below the point, we're seeing a lot of dolphin. Also out of Oregon Inlet on the inshore side, we're seeing bluefish, Spanish mackerel. Uh, there are still some cobia there. However, the cobia should start slowing down any day now as they make their way north into Virginia. Um, we've got sheep's head in the surf, red drum in the surf, puppy drum in the surf, bluefish in the surf, Spanish mackerel in the surf. And you're still seeing, you know, the puffer fish and sea mullets and that sort of thing for the surf casters. As we get up into Virginia, um, the flounder fishing's been pretty slow. Uh, sea bass season opened up. Sea bass fishing's been very good. The spade fish have started biting. We've had some really nice catches of spade fish here lately. Um, offshore, there's been a couple of boats that have gone out there. There hasn't really been a whole lot of tuna out of Virginia yet. However, we've had pretty good catches of dolphin. There's even been a couple of billfish caught and uh, a small scattering of yellowfin tuna. Uh, that, that should be improving daily. Um, on the inshore side in Virginia, in the inlets, 
we're seeing the, the speckled trout fishing slowed down a lot, the puppy drum fishing slowed down a lot. There are some flounder being caught, there's some bluefish being caught. Um, it's really, I think we've seen the best of it with the puppy drum in the inlets here that will be consistent fishing throughout the summer and just I think our best puppy drum fishing and our speckled trout fishing, you've seen the best of it. Um, in the in the mouth of the bay, we still have red and black drum. The red drum fishing on the shoals has been exceptional. Um, we're starting to see some of our summer species creeping in. There's been several good reports of cobia fishing along Buck Row and Grandview uh, for the chummers. There's been, we've caught a couple of cobia sight casts, and we've also seen the schools of red drum sight casting when we caught those. Um, I'm seeing some up in the creeks, I'm seeing some croaker catches. Um, and up the bay, we're still seeing some stripers being caught, seeing some speckled trout being caught, and um, that fishing up there is, the striper fishing is kind of slowing down, but they're getting more into their summer fishing uh, with the schoolie stripers and the speckled trout and uh, bluefish, croaker up the bay. Um, along the eastern shore, we are seeing some flounder catches up there. There's still some bluefish around. Um, and out of Ocean City, it's the same thing. They're seeing striped bass, flounder, and bluefish. Uh, the sea bass fishing got going this week here. And offshore, we're starting to see some, some attention out there to shark fishing. Uh, there's been blue sharks, brown sharks. There's been a couple of great whites. I know the Restless Lady caught a 500 pound great white uh, two or three days ago. There's been some Makos offshore out of Ocean City also. Um, everything north of Oregon Inlet is just getting started with the offshore fishing. Um, the deep drop fishing is still around. You can get blue line tile fish. You're allowed to catch sea bass now. So uh, there's a little bit more attention going with the, with the deep drop fishing and the dog fish are starting to pull away so they're not as much of a nuisance. Um, freshwater side right now is probably the best bass fishing of the year. We've, ha we've had a lot of rain lately and it's making the catfish and the carp fishing very good. Uh, we're starting to see bluegill fishing being pretty good. Um, crappie are starting to slow down. Uh, perch are starting to slow down a little bit. But overall, probably the best time of the year right now for largemouth bass.